The natural wonders of the world never cease to astound us, yet sometimes they leave us with more questions than answers. Humans are naturally curious creatures, thus we routinely embark on missions to find the answers to the planet's mysteries. However, in the course of discovering, we have also unearthed things, witnessed anomalies, created situations, and uncovered secrets that perhaps should have remained hidden. These 20 mysterious marvels reveal a wealth of these fascinating things humans should never have seen. Number 20. The Bizarre Phenomenon of Ball Lightning Ball lightning, a perplexing and rare atmospheric phenomenon, has fascinated and bewildered scientists and observers for centuries. Unlike conventional lightning bolts that streak across the sky, ball lightning appears as luminous spheres, varying in size from a golf ball to several meters in diameter. Reports of ball lightning describe it as glowing with colors ranging from red and orange to blue and white, and it often moves erratically, sometimes hovering or even passing through solid objects. Despite numerous eyewitness accounts, the elusive nature of ball lightning has made it challenging to study and understand. Scientists have proposed various theories to explain its occurrence, including plasma physics, atmospheric electricity, and even quantum mechanics. However, none of these theories fully account for all aspects of ball lightning behavior, leaving it shrouded in mystery. One of the most intriguing aspects of ball lightning is its apparent ability to defy the laws of physics, which is amazing to humans. Witnesses have reported instances of ball lightning passing through closed windows or solid walls without causing any damage. Additionally, there are accounts of ball lightning hovering in mid-air for extended periods before suddenly vanishing without a trace. The rarity and unpredictability of ball lightning have made it difficult for researchers to capture and study it in controlled environments. As a result, much of what we know about this phenomenon comes from anecdotal evidence and sporadic observations. Number 19. The Gates of Hell the Gates of Hell is a fiery crater in the heart of Turkmenistan's Karakum Desert. Originally, this vast crater, officially named the Darvaza Gas Crater, resulted from a Soviet drilling accident in the 1970s. Engineers, searching for natural gas reserves, inadvertently tapped into a cavern filled with methane gas, which created a gaping hole measuring 69 meters in diameter. In an attempt to burn off the gas to prevent the spread of methane, they ignited the crater, expecting the fire to burn out in a matter of days. However, decades later, the inferno still rages, transforming the once desolate landscape into a surreal spectacle of flames. Despite its hellish and scary appearance, the gates of hell have become a tourist attraction, drawing visitors from around the world to witness this eerie, man-made phenomenon. Number 18. Frozen Niagara Falls the sight of Niagara Falls frozen in winter is rare and captivating. It also evokes both wonder and concern. The frigid temperatures during winter often cause portions of the falls to freeze, during winter creating a breathtaking spectacle of ice and mist. As temperatures fluctuate and weather patterns become increasingly unpredictable, occurrences like the freezing of Niagara Falls may become more frequent, altering the delicate balance of ecosystems and endangering iconic natural landmarks. But despite the appearance of having been completely frozen, the waterfalls actually keep flowing beneath the surface. The immense volume of water continuously flows, while mist and spray on the outer surface develop an icy crust, giving the appearance of frozen waterfalls. It gives the illusion that the waterfalls have stopped flowing, but in fact, they haven't. The entire winter landscape with the frozen falls is something that you cannot see at any other time of the year and makes it all the more special. It's a white winter wonderland. It is a once-in-a-lifetime experience to see the Niagara Falls during winter, as tourists all over the world have claimed that the thunderous sound of the fall during summer is totally replaced by silence every time it freezes. Number 17. The Mysterious Stonehenge Stonehenge, the iconic prehistoric monument nestled on the Salisbury Plain in England, has been discovered over 4,000 years ago. Comprising a series of massive standing stones arranged in concentric circles and horseshoe shapes, Stonehenge continues to captivate and perplex researchers and visitors alike. Despite centuries of study, the true purpose and significance of Stonehenge remain shrouded in mystery. While it is widely believed to have served as a ceremonial site and astronomical observatory, the exact rituals and practices conducted within its hallowed stones elude definitive explanation. One of the most intriguing aspects of Stonehenge is its construction. 
The massive stones, some weighing up to 25 tons, were transported from quarries located miles away, a feat of engineering that baffles modern scholars. The precision with which the stones were positioned suggests a sophisticated understanding of mathematics and celestial alignments, further deepening the mystery surrounding its purpose. Because of Stonehenge's alignment with the solstices and equinoxes, astronomers have theorized that it was a celestial calendar or a sacred place connected to the cycles of the sun and moon. Stonehenge may have had great spiritual and cultural importance for its creators, as evidenced by the stone's mysterious arrangement and alignment with heavenly occurrences. Number 16. Snow in the Sahara Desert Snow in the Sahara Desert is a rare and extraordinary event that defies expectations and captivates the world's imagination. Known for its scorching temperatures and vast stretches of arid landscape, the Sahara rarely experiences precipitation, let alone snowfall. However, on occasion, meteorological anomalies bring cold air and moisture to the region, resulting in a dusting of snow across the desert sands. When snow does fall in the Sahara, it transforms the landscape into a surreal and magical scene, with delicate flakes blanketing the dunes and rocky terrain. The contrast between the brilliant white snow and the golden hues of the desert creates a stunning visual spectacle that is both mesmerizing and ephemeral. The occurrence of snow in the Sahara carries both symbolic and practical significance. It offers a rare opportunity for residents and visitors alike to witness the desert in a new and unexpected light, fostering a sense of wonder and appreciation for the natural world. From a practical standpoint, snow in the Sahara can have both positive and negative impacts. While it may provide much-needed moisture to plants and wildlife, helping to sustain fragile desert ecosystems, it can also disrupt transportation and infrastructure, particularly in regions unaccustomed to winter weather. Number 15. The Mystical Crystal Skulls the mystical crystal skulls are a collection of enigmatic artifacts that have captured the fascination of explorers, archaeologists, and New Age enthusiasts for centuries. Carved from various types of crystal, including quartz and amethyst, these intricately crafted skulls are believed by some to possess mystical powers and ancient wisdom. One of the most famous crystal skulls is the Mitchell Hedges skull, discovered by British adventurer Frederick Mitchell Hedges in Belize in the 1920s. Carved from a single piece of quartz crystal, the skull exhibits remarkable craftsmanship and a level of detail that defies explanation. Its origins and purpose remain shrouded in mystery, with some theories suggesting it may be of ancient Mayan or even extraterrestrial origin. The legend of the crystal skulls extends beyond the Mitchell Hedges skull, with numerous other examples discovered around the world. Many indigenous cultures regard crystal skulls as sacred objects imbued with spiritual significance, using them in rituals and ceremonies to connect with the divine. Despite extensive scientific analysis, the true origins of the crystal skulls remain uncertain. Skeptics argue that they are modern creations, crafted in the 19th and 20th centuries, and passed off as ancient artifacts to capitalize on public interest in the supernatural. However, proponents of the mystical properties of crystal skulls point to their intricate designs and alleged supernatural powers as evidence of their ancient origins. Number 14. Square Waves Unlike the regular smooth oscillations of typical ocean waves, square waves manifest as abrupt, steep-sided waveforms resembling the shape of a square. You might get to see square waves once or twice in your lifetime if you visit the beach or the ocean occasionally. But if you do, it is expedient for you to know that they are very dangerous and that you should move away from them. These square waves are typically generated by the interaction of opposing wave systems, such as waves from different directions or waves of varying speeds. When these opposing wave systems collide or converge in a particular manner, they can create a unique wave pattern characterized by sharp corners and flat crests. While square waves in the ocean are a fascinating and captivating sight, they are exceptionally rare and seldom observed in nature. Their formation requires precise and unusual circumstances, making them a mysterious and elusive phenomenon that few have witnessed firsthand. Due to their extreme and unpredictable nature, square waves in the ocean can pose significant risks to maritime activities, including shipping, navigation, and offshore operations. Number 13. The Erie Sailing Stones the Erie Sailing Stones of Death Valley, also known as sliding rocks or moving rocks, have long intrigued scientists and visitors alike with their mysterious and seemingly supernatural behavior. Located in the remote racetrack Playa, 
a dry lake bed nestled within Death Valley National Park in California, these stones leave behind peculiar trails etched into the barren desert floor. What sets the sailing stones apart is their apparent ability to move across the playa's surface without human or animal intervention. Despite weighing hundreds of pounds, these stones glide effortlessly, leaving behind long, winding tracks that stretch for hundreds of feet. For decades, the movement of the sailing stones remained a perplexing enigma, with various theories proposed to explain their mysterious behavior. Some speculated that strong winds or sudden floods propelled the rocks across the playa, while others suggested that ice sheets formed during cold desert nights might act as natural sleds, allowing the stones to slide along the slick mud. In recent years, advances in technology, including time-lapse photography and GPS tracking, have shed new light on the mystery of the sailing stones. Researchers have discovered that under specific conditions, thin sheets of ice can indeed form around the stones, enabling them to be pushed by even gentle breezes. This phenomenon, known as ice shove, occurs infrequently, but is sufficient to explain the movement of the sailing stones observed on the playa. While the sailing stones of Death Valley may no longer be shrouded in as much mystery as they once were, they continue to captivate visitors with their eerie and otherworldly presence. Number 12. The Red Rain of India. Red-colored rain? Definitely unbelievable. But it has occurred sporadically in various regions of India. This vividly colored precipitation stains the ground and leaves a lasting impression on those who witness it. What makes the red rain so extraordinary is its unusual hue, which ranges from pink to blood red. Unlike typical rain, which is clear or slightly tinted by pollutants or dust particles, the red rain appears as a vivid crimson downpour, often accompanied by reports of an earthy or metallic odor. The origins of the red rain have sparked intense debate among scientists, with numerous theories proposed to explain its mysterious appearance. One prevailing hypothesis suggests that the coloration is due to airborne spores or algae that are swept up into the atmosphere and carried by prevailing winds before precipitating down as rain. Another theory posits that the red rain is the result of dust or sand particles infused with iron oxide. Despite extensive research and investigation, the exact cause of the red rain remains uncertain. Its sporadic occurrence only adds to its rarity, with reports of red rain events occurring infrequently and often in isolated locations. Number 11. The Island of Snakes. Also known as Snake Island or Ilha da Queimada Grande, is a remote and uninhabited landmass located about 30 kilometers off the coast of Brazil. This enigmatic island is renowned for its incredibly high density of snakes, particularly the golden lancehead viper, Bothrops insularis, one of the deadliest snakes in the world. Snake Island's reputation as a haven for serpents has earned it a fearsome reputation among locals and adventurers alike. The golden lancehead viper, endemic to the island and found nowhere else on Earth, is known for its potent venom, which can cause severe pain, swelling, and even death if not treated promptly. With an estimated population of up to 4,000 snakes per square kilometer, Snake Island is considered one of the most snake-infested places on the planet. The origins of Snake Island's snake population remain shrouded in mystery, with theories ranging from natural colonization to human intervention. Some speculate that rising sea levels isolated the island from the mainland, leading to the evolution of unique snake species. Others suggest that human activities, such as deforestation and the introduction of invasive species, may have contributed to the proliferation of snakes on the island. Despite its reputation as a treacherous and forbidding place, Snake Island holds a certain allure for adventurers and scientists eager to uncover its secrets. Expeditions to the island are rare and fraught with challenges, including navigating treacherous waters and evading the island's formidable serpent inhabitants. Number 10. The Island of Dolls With a history that dates back to the 1950s, a sole inhabitant of an island, a man named Don Julian Santana, discovered the body of a drowned girl in the canal. In a gesture of respect and tribute to her spirit, Don Julian began collecting discarded dolls from the surrounding area and hanging them on the trees and structures of the island. Over the years, Don Julian's collection grew to include thousands of dolls, many of which were missing limbs or eyes, their plastic bodies discolored and decayed by the elements. Visitors to the island reported hearing whispers and laughter emanating from the dolls, leading to rumors of paranormal activity and haunting spirits. Tragically, Don Julian himself met a similar fate to the girl whose spirit he sought to appease when he drowned in the same canal in the year 2001. 
His death only added to the mystique of the island, further fueling speculation about its eerie inhabitants and the tragic events that unfolded there. The mysterious island of Dolls, known as Isla de las Munecas in Spanish, is now regarded as a haunting and surreal destination located in the canals of Xochimilco near Mexico City. This eerie island is adorned with thousands of decaying and weather-beaten dolls hanging from trees, fences, and buildings, creating a surreal and unsettling atmosphere. Today, the island of dolls remains a popular tourist attraction, drawing visitors from around the world who are intrigued by its macabre beauty and haunted history. Number 9. The Yonaguni Monument the Yonaguni Monument, located off the coast of Yonaguni Island in Japan, is an underwater structure that has sparked intense debate and speculation among archaeologists, geologists, and historians since its discovery by Kihachiro Aratake when he was diving in 1986. Believed by some to be a man-made formation, the Yonaguni Monument consists of massive stone blocks arranged in a series of terraces, steps, and pillars on the seabed. The origin and purpose of the Yonaguni Monument remain a subject of controversy, with various theories proposed to explain its enigmatic features. Some researchers argue that the structure is a natural geological formation, shaped over thousands of years by the erosive forces of wind, water, and tectonic activity. They point to similar underwater rock formations found elsewhere in the world as evidence of the monument's natural origins. However, others contend that the Yonaguni Monument exhibits clear signs of human craftsmanship, including straight edges, right angles, and intricate carvings. They argue that the structure's advanced architectural features and symmetrical design suggest intentional construction by ancient civilizations, possibly dating back thousands of years. Supporters of the man-made theory speculate that the Yonaguni Monument may have served as a ceremonial site religious temple, or even part of a lost civilization that existed during the last ice age when sea levels were lower. However, without conclusive evidence to support either hypothesis, the true nature of the Yonaguni Monument remains a mystery. Number 8. Sunrise from Space Witnessing a sunrise from the vantage point of space is a breathtaking spectacle that few humans have experienced firsthand. From orbit, astronauts aboard spacecraft such as the International Space Station, ISS, have the unique opportunity to observe the Earth as it awakens from darkness into the warm embrace of sunlight. The transition from night to day reveals a stunning array of colors and textures, with the curvature of the Earth serving as a majestic backdrop. Sunrises from space are a rare phenomenon not only due to the limited number of individuals who have had the privilege to see them, but also because of the specific conditions required for such observations to occur. Astronauts aboard the ISS witness approximately 16 sunrises and sunsets every day as the station orbits the Earth, but each sunrise is a fleeting moment of beauty that lasts only a few minutes. The rarity of experiencing a sunrise from space underscores the fragility and preciousness of our planet. As humanity ventures further into space exploration, these moments of celestial beauty become even more precious, highlighting the interconnectedness of all life on Earth and the wonder of the universe beyond. Number 7. The Enigmatic Nazca Lines The Enigmatic Nazca Lines, etched into the desert plains of southern Peru, are a series of ancient geoglyphs that have captivated archaeologists, historians, and tourists for centuries. Created by the Nazca culture between 500 BCE and 500 CE, these immense designs cover an area of over 80 square kilometers and consist of hundreds of intricate figures, including animals, plants, geometric shapes, and humanoid forms. What sets the Nazca lines apart is their sheer scale and precision with some figures measuring up to 1,200 feet in length and displaying remarkable accuracy in their proportions and alignments. Despite being created over 1,500 years ago, the lines remain remarkably well-preserved, thanks to the arid climate and stable geological conditions of the Nazca Desert. The purpose and meaning of the Nazca lines remain a subject of intense speculation and debate among scholars. Some theories suggest that the lines served as ritual pathways or ceremonial sites, possibly related to agricultural practices or astronomical observations. Others propose that the lines were created as religious symbols or representations of mythical creatures and gods, intended to communicate with divine forces or ancestors. One of the most enduring mysteries surrounding the Nazca lines is how they were created with such precision and scale without the aid of modern technology. The Nazca people likely used simple tools and techniques 
such as ropes, stakes, and wooden implements, to remove the surface rocks and reveal the lighter-colored subsoil beneath. Despite centuries of study and speculation, many questions about the Nazca lines remain unanswered. Number 6. The Reign of Iguanas The Reign of Iguanas is a fascinating and unusual natural phenomenon observed in regions with subtropical or tropical climates, particularly in places like Florida and the Caribbean. During periods of unusually cold weather, iguanas, which are cold-blooded reptiles, can become lethargic and lose their grip on tree branches. As a result, they may fall from trees, leading to scenes that resemble a rain of falling iguanas. While this phenomenon may seem alarming or mysterious to observers, particularly those unfamiliar with the behavior of reptiles in colder climates, it is actually a survival mechanism employed by iguanas to cope with cold temperatures. When temperatures drop below a certain threshold, iguanas enter a state of torpor, during which their metabolic rate decreases and they become temporarily immobile. This allows them to conserve energy and avoid expending valuable resources during periods of low environmental temperatures. The sight of falling iguanas can be surprising and even alarming to onlookers, as it may appear as though the animals are injured or falling from the sky. However, in most cases, the iguanas are simply experiencing a temporary loss of mobility due to the cold weather and will regain their normal function once temperatures rise again. In fact, falling iguanas often recover quickly once they warm up and the phenomenon is rarely harmful to the animals. Before we move on, here's today's subscriber's pick. Take a look at this image. Now take a moment to examine it closely. What do you see? Are those aliens, or perhaps humans? It's quite perplexing, isn't it? They possess characteristics of both species, human-like hands and legs, but with heads resembling something out of a science fiction tale. The question that immediately springs to mind is whether this image is genuine or digitally manipulated. And when thoughts wander to such mysteries, one location inevitably comes to mind, Area 51. This mysterious place has been linked to stories about aliens for a long time. No one really knows what happens there. Could it be that strange creatures like the one in this picture are actually seen and photographed there? Now, dear viewers, it's your turn to weigh in. What are your thoughts on this peculiar scene? Share your insights with us in the comments below. Number 5. The Dibbuk Box The chilling Dibbuk Box, also known as the Haunted Jewish Wine Cabinet, is a mysterious and infamous object with a dark and eerie reputation. According to legend, the Dybbuk box was first discovered in Poland in the early 20th century and is said to contain an evil spirit known as a Dybbuk, a malevolent entity from Jewish folklore. The story goes that the box was purchased at an estate sale in 2001 by Kevin Manis, a furniture restorer and antiques dealer, who soon experienced a series of disturbing and inexplicable events. Manis claimed that the box brought him and subsequent owners a string of misfortune, including terrifying nightmares, health issues, and financial ruin. As the legend of the Dibbuk box spread, it captured the attention of paranormal enthusiasts and skeptics alike, leading to a surge of interest in its purported supernatural powers. Some believe that the box is cursed or possessed by a Dibbuk seeking to torment its owners, while others dismiss it as an elaborate hoax or psychological phenomenon. Despite the skepticism surrounding the Dibbuk box, its chilling reputation endures, fueled by numerous accounts of strange occurrences and inexplicable phenomena associated with it. The box gained further notoriety when it was acquired by Zach Bagans, host of the paranormal television series Ghost Adventures, who showcased it in a museum of haunted artifacts. Whether the Dibbuk box is truly haunted or merely a product of superstition and imagination, its presence continues to fascinate and disturb those who encounter it. Number 4. Toby, the Two-Nosed Dog This dog captured the hearts of many with his unique and endearing appearance. Born with a rare condition known as nasal duplication, Toby defied the odds and became a beloved despite his unconventional features. Toby led a happy and fulfilling life, bringing joy to everyone he encountered. His two noses, each with its own nostrils and sense of smell, added to his charm and quirkiness, making him a standout among his canine peers. Throughout his life, Toby received an outpouring of love and support from admirers. Sadly, Toby passed away in 2020, but his memory continues to live on in the hearts of those who were touched by his story. Number 3. The Taos Hum The unexplained Taos Hum is a mysterious auditory phenomenon that has puzzled residents and researchers in the town of Taos, New Mexico for decades. Described as a low-frequency humming sound, the Taos Hum is audible to some individuals, but remains undetectable by conventional audio equipment. 
First reported in the early 1990s, the Taos hum has since become a subject of intense speculation and investigation. Witnesses describe the sound as akin to a distant diesel engine or the rumble of distant thunder, yet efforts to pinpoint its source have proven elusive. Numerous theories have been proposed to explain the Taos hum, ranging from natural geological phenomena to psychological factors. Some suggest that the hum may be caused by seismic activity or underground geological processes, while others speculate that it could be the result of atmospheric or electromagnetic disturbances. Psychological explanations have also been explored, with some researchers suggesting that the Taos hum may be a form of tinnitus or auditory hallucination experienced by certain individuals. However, these theories fail to fully account for the widespread reports of the phenomenon and its persistence over time. Residents continue to report hearing the enigmatic sound, fueling speculation and curiosity about its origin. Number 2. The Mary Celeste Mystery The Mary Celeste Mystery remains one of the most perplexing maritime enigmas in history, captivating the imagination of historians, researchers, and enthusiasts for over a century. In December 1872, the merchant vessel Mary Celeste was discovered adrift in the Atlantic Ocean, approximately 400 miles east of the Azores Islands. Despite the ship's cargo and provisions being largely intact, there was no sign of any crew members on board. The circumstances surrounding Mary Celeste's abandonment were puzzling. There were no indications of a struggle or violence, and the crew's personal belongings remained undisturbed. Adding to the mystery, the ship's lifeboat was missing, suggesting that the crew had left the vessel voluntarily, yet no logical reason for their departure could be determined. Numerous theories have been proposed to explain the fate of the Mary Celeste's crew, ranging from piracy and mutiny to natural disasters such as a sudden squall or water spout. Some have even speculated about more unconventional explanations, including UFO abduction or sea monsters. Despite extensive investigations and countless speculations, no conclusive evidence has ever been found to solve the mystery. The Mary Celeste mystery has inspired numerous books, films, and documentaries, ensuring its place as one of the most enduring and captivating maritime mysteries of all time. Number 1. The Rainbow Tree the rainbow eucalyptus is a stunning and awe-inspiring species of tree that captures the imagination with its vibrant and psychedelic bark. Native to the rainforests of Southeast Asia and the Pacific Islands, this unique tree is renowned for its extraordinary display of colors, which range from vivid greens and blues to vibrant oranges, pinks, and purples. What sets the rainbow tree apart is its remarkable bark which undergoes a stunning transformation as it matures. As the outer bark peels away, it reveals a new layer of bark beneath, creating a kaleidoscopic effect reminiscent of a rainbow stretching across the tree's trunk. This mesmerizing display is the result of natural processes, including the shedding of old bark and the exposure of fresh, brightly colored layers underneath. Despite its striking appearance, the rainbow tree's vibrant bark serves a practical purpose, helping to protect the tree from harsh sunlight, extreme temperatures, and potential damage from pests and diseases. Additionally, the unique coloration of the bark is thought to play a role in camouflage, helping the tree blend in with its surroundings and evade predators. The rainbow tree's dazzling display of colors has made it a popular attraction for nature lovers and photographers around the world. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.